I served in the U.S. Army as an uh, intelligence analyst. And I was sent to South Korea, and I actually got injured over there. So I have a service-connected injury. A highlight of being in the military is it's the cohesion of the veterans, the veteran community. It's getting that bond in, in those people that you'll, you'll be best friends with for the rest of your life. I started getting involved with uh, mo mainly the Wounded Warrior Project and starting to do more events with them and meeting more, more veterans and becoming a peer mentor. I started to see how significant like some of the veterans were struggling with PTSD. 80% of the injuries are PTSD and I really started to see the significance of that and how much it impacted their lives and also their families' lives. I struggled for about a year after I transitioned into civilian society until I got back into school and I'm back on my feet. So I kind of I could really relate to those who are still trying to struggle through that transition and suffer from the service-connected injuries as I had. Having veterans in the field of social work is so important because veterans want to work with other veterans. They really feel like in order for someone to help them that they're gonna have to understand what they're going through. They're gonna have to have some experience of the military and the military culture and the things that they've been through in order to help them get through that. I would absolutely recommend Columbia School Social Work for another veteran because you have to have initiative and you have to be a go-getter because there are so many great opportunities and experiences to be had here. I had the opportunity of doing research at the Columbia Medical Center with well-known world-class doctors and I, 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 ha I wouldn't have had that opportunity to do that if, if it weren't for Columbia. 